Hey everybody, um, I'm just gonna kinda throw some snippets together of this build. What are you building, Ryan? Um, I put together a lot of Legos and I'll put some snippets and stuff of all my Legos that I have. Uh, but I'm building a beautiful Lego assembly table out of some ash slabs. Um, I wanna have a place on top that I can set my Millennium Falcon. Falcon? Millennium Falcon? Uh, and the bigger sets. So I need something with a shelf on top. I want a big desk area with some indentations so that I can set the Legos in after I dump them out of the bag so that they don't go nowhere. And then I want the legs. You see, that's, this is my cat right here. Can y'all use your imagination? And then the legs of the table I want it to look like a tree coming up with some tree branches shooting in different areas. And then I'm going to take those with a through mortise. So I'll cut a corresponding uh, hole on the tabletop that the tree branches will go up into. And that's how I'll secure it to the top. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not going to show the vans broke down. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, the, the, I'm not going to show processing of the wood and stuff i mean if you want to see people do that beautifully pask makes on youtube frank howith on youtube uh i mean there's the list goes on but if y'all want to see people wa uh, process wood and stuff um go check those fellers out uh so i'm gonna pick out some pieces of wood i can already get some inspiration from those ones that kind of fork out because that's kind of what i want it to look like uh is the tree branch um, 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 yeah, so I'm gonna pick these out and then, um, start processing and we'll choo -choo them back when we got some progress. Got the hair down today. How's everybody doing? All right, we'll be back. I have to press the button. This way. I made sawdust. Okay, so I got to looking and I think that's gonna be my tabletop. I've got it. It's like 50. It's not quite five, five feet. Um, that's the tabletop. I was going to do, there I go, thinking again. I was going to do that as the top shelf, but it's not that wide. It is pretty, but uh, I don't know. We'll hold off on using that as the top, um, because I've got wider pieces. Speaking of wider pieces, this is what I was going to use as the, the assembly tabletop, but I'm thinking that kind of looks like a top shelf shelf piece of wood. What does uh, what's everybody think? Oh, that probably freaked y'all out. Sorry. I don't want to make anybody sick. And then I had my wonderfully artistic wife. I got to get that thing delivered here. Shortly. Um, wonderfully artistic wife. Uh, uh, back on track here. Um, come out and draw me some trees. So. Yes. Look at that. That looks so Party. We had three right here, but then one executed out like into the air, and I didn't realize it when I had her drawing it. And so my monkey hand came in here and redrew some curves. And the the X's are the places, the lines that I need to chop. That'd be a big trunky trunk. No trunk. Be a big branchy. All right. So we're gonna cut this stuff up with the jigsaw. Wish me luck. I've just got a cheap. Skill brand jigsaw. Mm, it's garbage. Uh, if I had a better blade on the old bandsaw, oh, I'm rambling. All right, we'll be back when we got some more stuff put together. Hi. Update. All right, so we got the legs cut out. Am I in? I've got that weird mode going on. Cinematography. Anyway, I got the legs cut out. I got those pretty done. A uh, pretty good as far as the shape goes. I'll come through and I'll round and shape and. Uh, I made tenons. Are these tenons? I made tenons on the table saw. Tenons on the table saw. Uh, I got mortises kind of roughly sketched out right here. I drilled some holes. The key thing to know about uh, jigsaws is let this cut. You, you don't need to be pushing hard. Let this thing do its work. Let it chooch through the wood. Make sure you're staying on your guide bearing. And um, just take your time. Go slow, you know. That way, you get a nice perpendicular cut. That's a pretty good cut right there from that 
little cheap jigsaw. So I'm gonna continue through um, fitting that up into that. I've got Quantum Mania at 220 today. Super pumped up. Um, I got these kind of roughed out for when the when the feet go on for the legs. And that's all I know, y'all. Uh, come back when we got some more progress. And uh, yeah. Yeah, so we'll do that. Okay. Bye. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I got the van back. But y'all just look at my turkeys. You see big boy there in the middle? See big boy? Now, I saw all these turkeys when they were babies. Yeah, I just think it's so neat to see them all growing up. There's the three males. Keeping everybody in order, or at least thinking so. Gorgeous, look at big boy, God, he's big. They are puffed up this morning. What do you think about them? Hmm? You gonna get out there and play? Hmm? Everybody have a beautiful day. Yeah, man. Life's awesome. You just gotta listen and watch for it. Uh, well, I mean, I did, I did intend to film more, but you know, it just it happens. Um, so this is where we're at. See it? See it? I think we might be a little low right here. Can y'all see it? I'm not quite tall enough, but I think we are. Um, do something like that, I do believe. Nah, nobody will see it. That'll, of course, be to the front. <laughs> um, so I've got this basically done. I'm gonna go through and uh, round that over like, whoa, golly bum. Sorry about that. I'm gonna round that over. I dropped the phone. Uh, and then I think that'll be all the shaping really we have to do. Should we round those? No, I don't know. Uh, and then we're gonna sand everything, a uh, whole bunch of sanding. Sanding, sanding, sanding. Once we get the sanding done, I'm gonna take a real aggressive round over bit and round over everything and kind of shape and blend and all those various things. So I'm gonna do that and, hmm, what's next? I think that's really it. Uh, I gotta find some kind of dark wood to cut some splines for, some wedges. Cause I know I've got some gappy wappas. That's all right. Cause what we'll do is we'll get that spline, we'll come in here and just go wham. What, what gaps? Oh, there's gaps up here up top. Wham! Oh, that also locks it into place. Hot diggity dang. I like that. Uh, only thing that I wish I would have done. Wish I would have. Wish I would have. Wish I would have. Wish I would have. I wish I would have not made this hole so big. That way I could have a ledge to sit on. That way it wouldn't want to go back and forth like I did over here on this one. Can you see it there? I can, yes I can. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, everybody, after this, type in Tiny Chef on YouTube. You'll thank me. So, yeah. Uh, all right, we'll come back when all those things are done. Uh, that's all I know. Bye until I see you again. Yeah. I mean, does everybody, uh, you kind of see what we got going on? Look how cool that looks. I just love exposing the grain and letting the wood do its thing. How's everybody doing this morning? Um, I guess the next step is to go ahead and spline these on the table saw. Is that going to be something I can do? I wish I had one of those spline jigs. You know, it's like it rides up and you clamp the wood to it. Uh, so we're going to do that. I got to try to find me some wood. I got some walnut. I wish I had some more of this stuff. 
Remember the plug video where I made the ear gauges? Yeah. So I'm gonna try to find me some dark wood. What's this? What's that? What's that? Uh, I think that's some oak. Um, just find me some dark wood. Do that. Get it splined up. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna leave this edge right here. Hmm. What do y'all think? I like it. I wish I would have had the other side similar. Hmm. Yeah. How's uh How's everybody doing? I don't. I don't really know like how this is coming together because we're filming over several days. So please be patient. Um. How cool, y'all? The wife walked in and she was like, "Babe, that's like." That's like beefy. I'm like, yeah, I know. I was like, it's like what you would see in like an old school cottage or something. I don't know. I love it. So we'll get this back going. Uh, we'll come back. I mean, I don't really know what else to say. Were these cracks here at the beginning? This ash wood I've had for probably two years now. Um, and every single time I use it, whether it's been sitting out in the shop for like a year and a half, I mean, it moves so much. I just don't understand. So hopefully when I go and I put all this stuff together and I force it together, are we gonna use glue? Hmm, how am I gonna carry this in the house? I got a hand truck. All right, we'll be back. Thank y'all for being patient with this madness. <laughs> right? I mean, right? How cool is that? I love how none of it lines up. You know how, like, that's not even... It's just not a traditional table. I love it. I didn't get any inspiration from this other than nature, I guess. Um, go get good those looked. I'll go through with some filler and fill up all the little bitty boo-boos. This one actually turned out perfectly. Except for right there. I'm going to go through and really spend some good time and flatten the top. I want it as flat as flat can be. Um, it's not that bad right now. It's just I don't want little Lego pieces rolling off of it if I do decide to make this an assembly table. How am I going to put a second level on this? I should have made it wider and made my shelf that big. Well, anyway, I'll... uh. We'll come back when we got some more progress on it. What? What are you doing? Hey. What are you, what are you, what are you doing? Right there. I'll just put that right there. Yeah. All right. So, uh, actually, I'm yeah, volunteering at the school tonight, putting together some uh, birdhouses for all the kids. Um, so, I'm out of time today. See y'all tomorrow. Bye. Hey, uh, have an awesome day, like right now. Like, make sure that you're having the best day that you can. We're here. I mean, everything that's in front of you is tangible. It's in reach. Do it. Have fun. Have fun. Life. Have an awesome day. All right. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye. And if you've watched my channel for quite some time, I even, I, I, I'm a big fan of pointing out mistakes or, are they mistakes? If, if. You know what I'm saying? It's opportunities to learn. Or improvise. I'm a great improviser. Check out the new rain, y'all. Yeah, the wife ordered that for me. Um, but uh, it was not level. I got out the big... Where is it at? Where is it? I got out that big level. I'm sitting on the bench. Sorry. Um, I got out the big level, and I put it across the feet. I'm level here. The, the bench is level. That's level. These are nice and square and true got those in there um but then i put the level on top of the feet and it was not and so i just made some little wedges real quick just throw those in there don't y'all worry about that with some super glue it ain't no big deal um i'm gonna get the feet on uh put my splines in and uh keep choosing look how good that closed up got a little bit of gappy wappy nah don't worry about that all right be back in a little bit Alrighty, new day. Um, the wife so lovingly came out yesterday and she saw me applying it. She was like, that looks really satisfying, applying the lacquer. 
And uh, she said, uh, can I do that? I was like, heck yeah, you can. I've applied many a finish in my day, sweetheart. You can have at it. And so she finished the rest of the table. Look how good she did. Look how good. I mean, it just perfectly even. So that's the lacquer. I'm going to try something that I haven't tried before, and that's what I like doing on projects that are mine. You know, i.e., joinery, doing new things as a maker. I do that for myself. That way, if I have a project that a customer asks me to do, I've got just a wee bit of experience on doing something that I might be able to provide for them. Peach! What's up, homie? So, the thing that I'm going to try is I'm going to put down some lacquer, and then I'm going to put down some polyurethane on top of it. My thinking, the lacquer is thinner, so it's going to soak into the wood a little bit better, and it's going to give me that pop of the grain that, I, that I've been wanting to do on this ash. And then I'll go through with the polyurethane on top of that, and that'll give me a really strong uh, finish. The lacquer is more conditioning, treating the wood. Uh, picture the polyurethane almost like a thin plastic layer. Um, I think it's petroleum-based, this polyurethane stuff is. So it's almost like you're having a small uh, protective layer of plastic on top. Is it plastic or would that be rubber? I think plastic would be polyacrylic. Because uh, anyway, I'm... I'm rambling. I don't know too much about finish, but maybe you learned something a little bit different. If you want something that is high wear and tear, use polyurethane. If you want something that looks really pretty, uh, like a piece of antique furniture, I would use a lacquer. And then you could even use something like a um, shellac or something that y'all see me use on small boxes. Shellac gives you a protective plastic finish, really shiny if you want it. Um, or you could put wax on top of it. You know, I've done that with stuff before. Um, all right. <laughs> ramble, ramble, ramble. I have no uh, script to my videos. I literally say, oh, crap, I haven't recorded in a little bit. I pick the, uh, the, the camera or the, the video recorder up, and I start playing, uh, recording. Um, I feel like that's the way YouTube used to be. That's the way that it should be now. Um, oh, well, actually... Something I've been wanting to talk about for a second. Uh, when I first, when I first got into YouTube, when I first started my channel, I started it because I was a viewer of YouTube of the maker community for quite some time, and then I thought, hey, actually, my buddy gave me a GoPro, and I was like, you know what? I think I could probably make a YouTube video. And so I watched a lot of uh, makers, content creators, and I based a lot of my videos off of what I visibly saw. Not necessarily uh, following the journey as Ryan as a maker. And so what I'm trying to do now is step back and kind of figure out the kind of content I would wanna watch. I would wanna watch something that's real relatable something that I feel like I myself can do because that's that's when I watched YouTube before it all got over glamified and extra cool shots and all that's entertaining but you know is it is it a hundred percent relatable sometimes no I'm just a simple guy I'm in this here shop I've got some simple tools and I want to make cool stuff with them and uh, I want y'all to come along with me so that's what we got I'll be back in a little bit. I'm going to put polyurethane on. Choo, 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 choo. Bye. <whistles> You're looking at something. It's amazing what you see if you slow down in this world. Looks like a piece of glass sitting on top. That polyurethane, 
on top of that lacquer really, really did it. I'm 100% happy and satisfied with how that turned out. It's really, really smooth. I didn't even sand in between the coats because I'm lazy. And it turned out great. What do y'all think? Huh? 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 Whoops. Wrong way. There we go. I, um, I need y'all's help. I still want to do a shelf on top of here. Like right here. If I want to assemble it, I was going to make this an assembly table. And I told the wife and she was like, but I really like where you assemble Legos now. Um, because I'm closer to everybody. I got, well, I'll show you in a second. But I, where I stand over in there, I'm near everybody. If I was in here, I'd be all isolated and by myself. And I like being in the mix and seeing what everybody's doing. So this is, I, if I have two sets going maybe. But anyway, I want this to be display. Oriented. I want this to be for displaying Legos, for displaying that big guy, displaying that big guy, you know, displaying some of the bigger, bigger things that I really, really like. So I need your help. Do I duplicate that as up here? Or, you know what I mean? Or I even thought about, I have some two inch square uh, tubing, steel. I thought about coming up and then making a bunch of weird angles off of that to make it look like a tree again, um, and then put the shelf on top. Or do I do four columns, like table legs? I don't know. Y'all, uh, somebody come up with some ideas and bleep, bleep, blop it down below for me. Because um, I like knowing, I, I'm only limited to what's inside my head. And I'd like to open that up to y'all I'm going to ask the wife what she would do. I'm going to ask the kids. So y'all tell me what you would do. Or do I just leave it alone? Right? I didn't want to go any wider. I had it planned to go out wider. But I really wanted to open up this space. And if I were to do another, um, another slab next to it, I think it would just be too wide. Because I've already got this big bad boy in here. Um, so, yeah. I think it turned out great. I loved it. Hopefully it won't move too much. Um, made by me for me in Lego we trust. How cool is that? I did that on the Glowforge. So y'all tell me what you think. Tell me what you would do. Would you leave it alone? Um, come up with some way to put a shelf up on top. Or do I do it floating off the back? I don't know, see? Anyway. I really appreciate y'all watching my video, um, making it this far until the end, or if, even if you skipped till the end. Hey, you watched the Maker's Channel. You're here, and I appreciate it. Um, I think that's it. I'll show you where I assemble Legos now. See, I stand here, and I do my Legos. And then see, oh, there's there's my boy. But the wife's always there. Zeppi's there. My daughter's there. And so I'm kind of in the central location for everybody. So I really like putting together Legos here. And this is what I'm in the middle of now. I try to pace myself. Pace myself. I try to do like a bag maybe every other day. <laughs> All right. I uh, think that's it. And uh, I guess we're done. Thank you all. Did I show that last time? I made another Lego uh, minifig display. Made that one out of a two by four and a half. Uh, I guess that's it, y'all. All right, till we meet again. Sorry there was so much time in between. I've just been, I don't, don't really have an excuse. So thank y'all. Appreciate it. Till we meet again.